This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Sarah Dodgson with me, your community relations with the Senior Support Services out of Brockville. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Now you're reaching out to the Lanark area and you have an event coming up on, and it's going to be happening in Lower Reach Park here in Smith Falls. Yes, we do. We have a five kilometer pole walk coming shortly. Excellent. And let's talk about pole walking. What, what makes the difference with pole walking and, and regular walking? For sure. So the poles are a great asset to have while you're walking. So we wanted to incorporate it into this walk. So of course you can join us without the poles if you don't wish to use them, but we thought they'd be really fun to incorporate into it. Excellent. I see a lot of people using the pole walking. I don't, it must help you keep a pace or stability Yes, keep too. a pace, keep a balance, everything. Excellent. Excellent. So now the event itself is on April 30th. Yep. Starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now you're holding it in two places, one here in Smith Falls and one in Brockville. Yes. Okay, now how are you going to be in two places at once? <laughs> I won't be. <laughs> but we have a lovely team here at Senior Support Services. So half of us will be in Smith Falls and half of us will be in Brockville. Excellent, excellent. Can you talk a little bit about Senior Support Services? For sure. So we're an agency that supports seniors and dependents at home and in the community. So we offer a wide variety of different programs, not all of which extend to your area, as you guys do have community home support there that provides a lot of the same services. But that being said, our exercise programs extend to your area, our lifeline coverage, as well as our stroke support groups. Excellent. You know, and, and support like people get from you too is so important. It helps keep people at home longer. It helps families keep people, their family members at home longer too. Absolutely. Yes, for sure. For sure. So you've been with uh, uh, Senior Support Services for a year and a half now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right in the middle of COVID, you got a job. Good for you. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and working in the community, so. <laughs> Absolutely. So, then, what's your background? So, my background is social services, really. Excellent, excellent. So, you'd be really good at this, that's for sure. Oh, for thank sure. you. <laughs> so, April 30th, we've got a walk going on. $25 registration? Yep, $25 to register. And we do recommend you pre-register. We have some polls available for those who are curious about walking with them and would like to give it a try but don't have their own set. So if you pre-register, I can make sure that we have some set aside for you. But if you get to April 30th and you decide last minute you want to join, you're welcome to show up that day as well. Excellent, excellent. So I, I understand too there's going to be poll demonstrations going on at both locations? Yeah, so we do say the event starts at 10 because the walk itself does begin at 10. but. We'll be there at nine. So if you want to come early and register, you can as well. And then we'll have a poll demonstration at 930 and a warm up at 945 and then we'll be set to go. Excellent. Excellent. Now, it, how long is the walk? So it's five kilometers. It's five kilometers. Okay. That's not too bad. No, not too bad. A nice way to start the morning. It is for sure. For sure. And I'm sure <laughs> if you don't want to do the whole 5K, you don't need to do the whole 5K. For sure. Yes. That's yeah. It. Everyone can go at their own pace, their own time and whatever accommodations are necessary. And I know myself, Laura Reach Park, it's only you know a short jaunt from here, from our studios, but uh, it's very close to my home too. And Laura Reach Park, that whole loop, I believe is a kilometer. Or yeah, so we're going to be taking that loop and then extending it for the full Smith Falls walking trail. Yeah. And so it's an out and back trail. So you go all the way out and come back and that'll distance five kilometers. I, I stand corrected. I think you have to go around it a couple of times to get to a kilometer. Oh. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're right there too. You're nice and close or you can take off a little bit and venture out in our, our beautiful streets here along the river too. For sure. And it's a beautiful trail. It's a nice scenic route. It is. We've, we've got a nice white trail, a uh, white crushed stone rock all along the river there too. So it's beautiful. It takes us right up to our, our park up here too. And, and yes. maybe some, uh, I don't know if the boats will be in by then, but uh, it's just beautiful to go along there. So you've got uh, great Absolutely. scenery. Great scenery. Yes. So people to register, how do they get a hold of you? So they'll get a hold of me either via email or by phone. So um, you can reach me at phone at 613-342-3693. And my extension is 2008. Or by email at sdodson, so D-O-D-G-S-O-N, at cphcare.ca. Now, is this the first time you've done this kind of event? It is. It's our first pole walk. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, it's different too, you know. You've got the demonstration going on, and if anybody's been interested in wondering what it's like to walk with them, this is a great opportunity. 
For sure. And when you register ahead of time too, um, we'll also give you a pledge sheet. And if you're interested in raising more funds, you can. And whoever raises the most at each of our walks will take home a brand new set of pools for themselves. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, well, yeah. that's wonderful. Wonderful. So I've got with me today, Sarah Dodgson, Community Relations uh, with Senior Support Services. Brand new job. Well, not brand new, year and a half, but you <laughs> took this on in, uh, during COVID. So I, I respect that for sure. Good for you. April 30th, we've got a great event going on. Get a hold of uh, Sarah. Thanks so much. Thank you.